Hello, my name is Maurice Nahabedian. I'm a plastic surgeon in McLean, Virginia. I'd like to spend a minute or so talking about this paper entitled Abandoning the SIA Flap in Favor of the Dual Plane Deep Flap. This was prepared by uh, two plastic surgeons at University of Texas Southwestern. Now, it's important to realize that there are two ways to do breast reconstruction using your own abdominal tissue. Uh, the two most common are the SIA flap and the DIEP flap. Both have become very uh, popular uh, amongst patients who want their own tissue. Both are similar in that they remove the skin and fat, but do not remove the underlying muscle. The difference between the two is the way the artery and the vein gets into the flap itself to keep the flap nourished or perfused so that it will survive when we transplant it into the breast. The SIA flap uses a superficial system of vessels. The deep flap uses a deep system of vessels. Now, the deep system of vessels is the dominant system in 95%. Uh, but in about 5% of patients, the superficial system is dominant. The problem with the majority of vessels related to the superficial system is that they are very small and unpredictable. And when you do an SIA flap, the likelihood of having complications is typically increased because the flap could die or the flap could get hard. So what the authors are advocating here is doing preferentially the DIEP flap but using that superficial vein and hooking it into the deep vein. And what this will do is it will really augment the venous return to that flap so that we can lessen the incidence of flap failure or the flap getting hard. So I agree with the authors. I think that the dual plane deep flap makes perfect sense and should be preferred for the vast majority of our patients.